League with Nano. He just started this game. I don't know. We have to wait a little bit. Before Nano got into it. Um, get three random five cost champions as a new augment. Yeah, that sounds like it's on crack. What if you get really lucky and they're all the same champion? Like, what if you just get, you know, like a like a two star Kaisa? For clicking that augment. It's just like, here's a two-star Kaisa. It's like, are you f okay. All right. Kaisa just won me that last game, but all right. Actually, I wonder if I can see that in the match history. Or if I have to do that in the post-game screen. That doesn't show me, necessarily. Because what a boss-ass fucking team I had. Or Victor. Yeah, or anything. Imagine you have the items already because you were... Putting stuff on a Lux or a Sandra or something, and then all of a sudden they give you Victor. It's like, oh, okay. Guess we win the game. Like, <laughs> guess I win. It adds massive pain. Yeah. I gotta apologize, chat, for falling all the way off the fucking grid, like off the grid and into the goddamn dirt. This past week or so. Um,. I streamed 28 hours in 48 hours. Like, in 48 hours total, I streamed 28 hours of Arceus. And then I... My sleep schedule was ass, and I was trying to make sure I was up for BB stuff. And it, I've been sleeping a lot. I go through periods where I, I don't sleep much at all, and then I sleep a lot. And I've been sleeping a lot. I was talking around the other day. I might have, what's it called? Sleep apnea? Or when you go to sleep, you just... Don't. Like, you don't actually get the refreshing refreshment, I guess, you're supposed to get from sleeping. Victor's the worst five cost. I always wanted to get, I haven't got to do it yet, I always wanted to get a Kench really early. I feel like if I randomly got a Tom Kench really, really early and just kept feeding him shit, he'd be snapped. I think there's a Cho'Gath. You get a Tom Kench and a Cho'Gath just really early by happenstance. Cho'Gath keep eating bitches and Kench keep eating bitches, you feed him, like... What are the other five cost units? I'm trying to think. Cause it's, no, it's not insomnia. It, it, it's not insomnia, which like I have had before, but sleep apnea is different. Sleep apnea, you actually go to sleep. But when you're sleeping, it's like you might as well not be because you're just not getting very good sleep at all ever. I think we see anything great in the Nintendo Direct tomorrow. I don't know. I make it a point to sleep through Direct. I sleep through Nintendo Direct because one of two things happens. Either A, some shit, some shit does get announced that usually isn't actually that hype and everyone loses their fucking brains anyway. Oh my god, this is the hypest shit ever. And that just gets under... This is me personal. I understand this is a me thing. That's why I don't like... I don't put it out there other than when I'm talking to you guys. I just... I deal with it, right? But either... Uh, either some shit gets announced that not, that's not actually that hype. Usually. Not always. But like usually. And then people lose their fucking brains like, oh my god, this is the hypest shit ever. Um... And that, that annoys the fuck out of me, so that's reason number A, why I sleep through directs. Or B, shit that isn't that hype gets announced, and then people just shit all over it and they're upset. So either way, I just kind of, uh, I just kind of, I wake up and catch the cliff notes on Twitter. Galio, Kaisa, Akali, Yumi, and Tom Kinch. Yeah, I don't use, I don't use Galio a lot. Just because he takes up two slots. Jason Jinx, yeah. I guess Victor's bottom three out of that group. Zeri? Do they have Zeri in that? Or you're talking about next patch, surely. I've never seen a Zeri in my life. Um, I don't use Galio very often, and that's just the socialite thing, and then the Colossus, he takes up two slots. And then I don't use... A Kali ever. And I know that's not because a Kali's bad, it's just I typically don't run assassins or syndicates that deep. I guess Victor's not good. I don't know. I feel like Victor was still a staple for teams for a while. That's because Chemtech was running wild for a minute there though. That's what that was about. I'm 
Bum, bum, ba, dum, ba, dum, bum. I know what REM sleep is, Michael Michelson. And that's not entirely true, because REM is when you dream, right? I still remember my dreams sometimes. Isn't that when REM happens? Or like, isn't that when dreams happen is in REM? It comes in patches, but I definitely have nights where I remember my dreams. When Chemtech was running wild, people still prefer to go Jinx and buy instead of Victor. Maybe at the very, very top, I felt like I saw a lot of Victors. You just put Jeweled Gauntlet on him and let him ult once. It's tough for him to get the ult. It's like you put Jeweled Gauntlet and you put like blue buff or something, but... He just gets to ult once. And then the, their team just dies. Lucid Dreaming's a shit. Yeah, I figured out how to Lucid Dream in high school. I can't do it anymore. I don't have to anymore. But I was, I was stressed a lot in high school and college, so I figured out how to Lucid Dream in high school. So that way, when I inevitably had another fucking nightmare like I did every other night for years... Um, I could deal with it, and I could just shut it down. That was pretty cool. Then I got to the point to where I stopped having nightmares, so I didn't, I didn't need it anymore. I kind of lost how to do it. Rumple go. Where's Rumple at? Had an offer for him. few weeks I have this dream where I'm falling it always wakes me up it used to be how I woke up in, uh, in class when I fall asleep in, in high school fall asleep head first down face first down on the desk and I think that angle of me you know the weird sitting plus just leaned over because my face is just down like that while my body's sitting up it always gave me the feeling of falling forward nap up out of it Yeah, what have I missed in the past week? Seven a.m. here, not alone with the fucked up schedule. My schedule was fucked up for different reasons. I, I'd, I'd sleep for eight hours, but then I'd also still like nap for three or four. It was just, it was just a lot of sleep. It was really rare for me. But, um, did nothing pop off in this last week? Is crypto still tanking, chap? Is crypto still falling through the fucking floor? I pulled out a crypto a few months back couple people I follow on Twitter were like, hey, these are some fucking warning signs, but uh, crypto is it's not going to do well soon. And I was like, oh, really? And I, I pulled out. Have a presentation tomorrow? Good luck with that. On the uptick? I mean, yeah, it had to be. It bottomed out a... Well, it bottomed out like a week ago, but it had been bottomed out for so long. I was like, it's not dead. Here's the thing, right? I'm no finance guru, obviously, so, you know, don't take your financial advice from me. It's just from what I understand. The stock market will never really fail. Barring, like, literally catastrophic failure, the stock market will never really fail. Um, it can crash. But if it ever crashes hard enough, the government bails it out anyway. And even if it doesn't, the stock market, just, it will bounce back. That's just, that's the United States. It's just, it, it will bounce back. Uh, Crypto has the same ability to fall off the face of the earth the same way the stock market does. 
But it doesn't have that safety net of, like, the American people are definitely invested in this. Or, you know, because this crypto is not just America, but you know what I mean. It also doesn't have that safety net of, like, okay, the government will bail it out because, like, we don't need crypto. The way we need the stock market. So it's like, if crypto ever falls the fuck off, it could just fall the fuck off and, and be gone. But historically, almost year after year, the stock market goes up. Even if you... Barring the most recent dip, because even the stock market's dipping, dipping lately, even if you uh, invested right before the latest big crash, if you didn't pull out, you're probably ahead right now of where you were then, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. Last two times the stock market bounced back was due to World War II in 2008. Well, 2008 was during another war, though. I don't think that... We were already in the war. Did that really make that much of a difference? Big banks are uh, apparently starting to invest in the crypto and government looking... Okay, so government regulating it is what's going to piss off crypto, bros. Like, that that's what's going to upset the base of crypto. Because once you start, re like, the whole point, of, like, the main appeal of crypto is that it's it's tax-free and it's unregulated. Which is a means to say it's a really good place for rich people to launder money. But, hey, what up, Memphis? Um, even aside from that, the appeal is like, you know, no taxes, we can do whatever we want. And then it, as soon as the government regulates that, like, it, it kills their, then it just almost becomes part of the stock market. Hey, what up? What's up, Memphis? Guess what, what? Yeah, good news is the more crypto dies, the easier uh, graphics cards are going to be to find, and the cheaper they'll be. Still can't sub. How long has it been? Oh, man, Cinna was going to tell me. Cinna wasn't able to sub to someone she was trying to sub to, like a few days ago. And from what she described to me, she had almost the exact same problem you did, Memphis. And I think it was either her or her friend. And they were going to mail. They were going to email partner support. Or Twitch support in general. And when they got their answer, she was going to tell me and then I could tell you. It's been almost a month. I would wait. Craft, we've tried everything. I would wait till the month was up. Because it's possible your payment, like, got caught in processing hell. And in a way, the website thinks you're subbed, even though you're not, so you just can't sub again. Okay? That's a possibility. If you wait a month, then the sub... If I'm right, and I might, I might be wrong, but the sub that I think the website thinks you have, even though you don't, will be gone. And then you should be able to sub and have it go through. If it still holds up after a month, that's when I would definitely email. I would definitely email something. Yeah, people tried to gift him on my channel. He's tried mobile, he's tried desktop, we've tried mobile, we've tried desktop, Apple, Android. Like, we've gone through everything. And it, we've banned him and unbanned him. He's unfollowed and refollowed. He's just, it, it will not click. Something got caught up with his ship. Bezos. It's not that Bezos doesn't want money, it's that Bezos doesn't care about our boy Memphis, which is big sad. Or me, for that matter, which is expected. Took a bullet. Yeah, it's not Memphis's credit card, he's called the company, he's called his bank, like his shit works everywhere else. We have tried everything, something with Twitch has just got him gridlocked. Whoops, good guys. Michael Michelson, thank you for the gift sub. Chat, the only thing you could do to try to get Memphis a sub, and this isn't even guaranteed to work, let that be known, but if you guys just keep gifting hundreds of subs at a time, eventually one of the subs might randomly be Memphis. And then he'd be in, you know what I mean? Is 
Let's see, can't sub. Oh, that's the other crazy thing. Memphis can gift subs. Memphis can gift subs just fine. So, like, we know his card works with Twitch specifically. Tier 3, maybe that works. I think somebody tried to gift it. Like, we have legitimately gone up and down the fucking pole trying to figure out how to get Memphis a sub back. So he's definitely lost his streak, but he has not lost his passion. Wait till a month up? It feels like a month. Feels like it's been a month. Plan streaming going forward uh, when we're not playing games with friends. I, I do want to go back into Arceus. Yeah. And then I think we're just going to kind of dick around on Arceus and finish that game and shiny hunt it until Horizon comes out. And then it's Horizon time. I know Sifu's all the rage and Sifu looks fun as fuck. There's just... With how sporadic I've been, I can't really count on myself to beat that game. Currently. Even though it's apparently not that long. That's not to say I won't ever play Sifu. It's not just to say it's not in the agenda right now. And then for the love of God, remind me after Horizon ends that I need to play Life is Strange. I've had people ask me for Life is Strange since before it came out. We all leave and it's just Memphis and another person with a sub automatically go to Memphis. No, because it doesn't work like that anymore. It, when gift subs first came out, it was completely random. And then after a while, they changed it to where it would take active viewers in the stream first. And then it would take followers. And then they redid the algorithm. And I don't know what the algorithm is anymore. But they redid the algorithm for how people catch random gift subs now. And it's not that. So if it was still that, that would probably work. But it's not that anymore. I put RCs down for a couple days. I found a shiny Abra. My Ultra Ball filled. So you didn't throw the Ultra Ball, right? And it teleported away. A little part of me died. Shiny Abra even looked that good. Shiny Alakazam look any different? I see one of those that's like slightly brighter. The only reason I think that is because I don't know what Shiny Abra or Alakazam looks like. And usually when Pokemon like that happen that I should know but I don't, it's just because they're barely different. Alakazam is pink? Oh, I bet that looks cool. We all collectively gift 180 subs is bound to work? Yeah. We can get timed out for a minute, either way. Shiny Abra. Does Shiny Abra look no fucking different? Oh, they actually don't look different. I was right. Like Alakazam a little bit, but the Abra and Kadabra do not look different. According to Pokemon Go, at least. Abra literally looks the exact same. Kadabra is like if you left a white gloss on him. Like like, like a clear white gloss over him by accident. And then Alakazam actually is, is what a shiny kind of looks like sometimes. If he was pink everywhere else... If he, like, kept the brown, but he was pink everywhere else, that'd be cool. But considering they just turned the brown to pink, it's like, who cares? I guess it's not green. At least it's not green. At least it's not fucking green, because everything in that goddamn game is green when it goes shiny. Yeah, all goes wild. I joined a stream for two seconds, and two hours later, I got a gift sub. Uh, not even following or anything. Liquid ham, think of three months, bud. Yeah, you guys ever want more emotes? Let me tell you my strategy, okay? You go into a section of Twitch. It can be any section. Just chatting works because you can sort from low to high. Well, it's rough. Anyway, you just go into Twitch and you just scroll down. And then you find a woman streamer who has like 20 to 60 viewers. But then when you click on their stream, they have sub goal. And then their sub goal is like 1,500 out of 2,000. Or like 28,000 out of, out of 32,000. 32,000, right? Or like, not 28,000. Uh, 2,800 out of 3,200 subs, right? Just go in and you just, you just find any woman streamer who has, like, less than 100 viewers, but more than 1,000 subs. And you literally just leave that open. You just leave that stream open, you know? Turn your sound down and then lay down. And then usually by the time you wake up, you'll have you'll have your sub. You'll, you'll have extra emotes that you didn't have before. 
Or you hang out in there for that night, and if you don't get the sub, sometime within that week, a random gift sub will just get flung your way. But if ever you're like, man, I'm low on emotes, but I sure don't want to spend money. And you already subbed old T-Shot. That's the tech. That's the tech. I've probably gotten hundreds of emotes just by doing that. It didn't let me use timeout with bits. You went through the, the extension? And it wouldn't let you punch his name in there or anything? Rumple, there you are. Holy shit, I was looking for you. Hope you're down for this. Did I go through? My Twitch lagged. It's not like a meme, my Twitch actually lagged. Well, get shit on Memphis, not your month. Michael Michaels, I think of the bits. Do I end up in a channel like that through raids? I've gotten three subs to channel since. Yeah. Yeah. Look for a... Uh, low view count, extremely high sub count. And then one of the four people who gives thousands of subs a month, you'll catch one. You'll catch one. It'll happen. Here's your little Twitch tech. Because here's the thing, right? You're not taking anything. Like, if it doesn't go to somebody... Like, if it doesn't go to you, it's going to go to somebody else. The streamer's still getting their cut. You're not actually... Why am I beating... Why am I beating... Brian? Louie! Louie, what are you talking about? Are you a streamer? With a low view count, but an extremely high sub count? Because I may hang out in your chat for some emotes. That's what you're saying. Or am I misinterpreting something? It added you? You added Memphis. Oh, yeah, well... Okay, so the way threads work is you send the first message, somebody adds your message to send the second message, right? You have message number one, person number two has message number two. Person number one, two, or three can reply to person number two, but for some reason on the thread, it shows that they're replying to person number one. I don't know why it does that, but that's how it's always worked. I wish they would fix it, because like if it just showed who you were replying to directly, it would make a lot more sense and be easier to keep up with in chat. Oh, it doesn't even show that? Yeah, he just, he replied to... Memphis's message, but Memphis replied to your message, so it made him reply to your message. It's their fuck. Is all that it is. Nicole got into Lost Ark. What is Lost Ark? Is it just new MMO? The way people are talking about it reminds me of uh, the Amazon one. That was the Amazon one called. You guys know what I'm talking about. New World, yes. The way people talk about it reminds me of New World. I'm a lunatic. I turned my heater all the way off a little bit ago. It's getting cold in here. Lost Ark is also Amazon? Well, shit. I can't play Lost Ark until I know it's not going to fry my CPU now. The whole reason I wouldn't play a New World. I never picked up New World because it was frying some people's... It was frying some people's CPUs. Same chicken fish. I legitimately did not even, like, 
did not even know about Lost Ark. I feel like if I'd heard of it, it was maybe once before by accident. And then I completely forgotten about it. And then two days before it comes out, everyone's like, oh my God, are you guys ready for Lost Ark tomorrow? Like, what the fuck are you talking about? And then it comes out and everyone's like, oh my God, I can't download Lost Ark. And it's like, what the fuck are you talking about? Like, Yeah, QC, I saw that. This morning? Dude, this morning, I think it was this morning. This morning, yesterday morning. Possibly a good game or a working 3090. It's not a hard choice. I know you're joking, but it is not a hard choice. I'm going to move to Korea. If you ever want anything from there, let me know. Michael, Michael said, aren't you out of the military? Wasn't that your whole thing? You got out of the military? Korea always sounded so cool. I know a lot of people's jam is, uh... They want to go to Japan. Like, I kind of want to go to Japan, too. You're not out of the military? Oh, my God. My fault. My fault. I thought that was like what you were working towards. Maybe I got you mixed up. I think we have a couple of military people in here. That's, that's my bad. Um, I'm going to Korea for a year. I got you. I got you. Um, yeah, everybody always wants to go to Japan. Like Japan would be cool. Don't get me wrong. And I definitely would go. If the opportunity presented itself. But I feel like I don't know. I feel like I'd rather see Korea. Either way, I'm fully prepared to just get discriminated against, but, like, I'm ready to go, you know? I always thought Seoul would be badass. Is there still a baseball in Korea? What does that mean? Oh, we don't have baseball here? On account of the lockout and all that shit? If you want anything from Korea, let me know. I don't know what I would want. Because it, it's like, it. if you go to Japan, it's like all the obvious shit, right? You know? This, this, that, what have you. But... Just anime, right? Shit like that. If it's like, I don't really know anything. Like, I'm not into K-pop, so I don't really know anything like from Korea that I would... You gotta bring me back that, brother. I've heard Korean candy. Two people said candy. I feel like I've never heard that. Then it, maybe I'm out of touch. Maybe I just don't know shit. That's entirely possible. Pardo Loco, how you doing? You're 45. You're 45. Appreciate it. Yeah, we are vibing right now. I'm really torn between just staying and talking and firing up a game of League. I've been meaning to play League. Like I, like I said, I've been doing shit for the last few days. It's just mostly exhaustion. Um, I've been meaning to sit down and just hammer League out for like a, a whole day. To just play the shit of the League for a day straight, but I haven't got around to it yet. I'll play like two or three games, then I have to... I have to stop. And not because I'm tilted or because my teammates are super toxic either. Like, I'm fine with that. I don't know what it is. Thank you, Michael Michelson, for the bits. I'm not doing Chow Garden. I still haven't done... I keep forgetting about it. I need to do the grind. Chow Garden's not over. Chow Resort Island isn't over. I need to do the grind for Chow Resort Island. Um, the off-stream grind. And then we can pick up where we left off. And then we probably have one solid stream left of that. And we're good to go. Baseball in, like, Japan and Korea is so cool and different from the USA. It's more of an experience going to the big domes. Than a regular field? Because the fields kind of kick ass. But I'm playing Valo. I could fucking... I almost wouldn't dare do it when M wasn't around, but I could fire up Valo. The problem is that... Like, I'm dick at League, but I feel like when I'm dick at League, you guys don't know exactly... Like, for the most part, you guys don't see why exactly I'm dick at League. Because most of you guys don't play League. And if you do, you don't play, like, well enough to fully understand what I'm doing to fuck up or how bad I am necessarily, right? If I play Valo, 
you're just gonna see me accidentally aim 20 feet to the left of the guy that I should be right on top of. And it's like, it's just blatantly obvious that I suck shit and why I suck shit. Yeah, for sure, Michael Michelson. I appreciate the thought. The sound escapes in an open field. Okay, I know you're talking about baseball, but tell that to Arrowhead Stadium. I've been to Chiefs games in Arrowhead, and that is that is the fucking that is the loudest stadium with an open top. But I get what you mean. I get what you mean. We have dome games here, though, right? I mean, don't typically as long as the weather's nice, they opt to open it. But don't we have domes for even baseball in the U.S.? This is, hasn't Seattle had that for a while? Hey, what up, Carl? Dome footage of Babe Ruth hitting dingers in Tokyo Dome as baseball. I don't even think I knew that that happened. Were the Olympics around for baseball back then? Is that I, I can't imagine like why else would he be out there? But I follow the guy who does. Uh... I don't know, man. I follow the guy who does Madden ratings. Uh, he 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 makes the Madden ratings. Or Madden, so like when you see, you know, Patrick Mahomes is a 99 or Travis Kelsey is a 99, he did that, right? When you see speed stats, which are easier to measure and just shit like that, like he, he makes all those. But I follow him on Twitter and he was having a conversation the other day about... There we go. He's having a conversation the other day about uh, if you put athletes that were like super athletes back in the day in modern baseball, would they be worth a shit? Because everybody always goes, no, they would suck ass. So, if, like, if you put Babe Ruth, for example, in today's baseball, would he be good? Everybody always goes, no, he wouldn't be worth a shit, just because, you know, fucking pitchers have got so much crazier. Babe Ruth, in a sense, was a fat guy. He could swing a bat, but he was a fat guy. What the guy who on... The guy who did the Madden ratings was saying on Twitter was that, like, yeah, we didn't have technique down back then. We didn't have... You know, we didn't know what really good form looked like. We didn't know what near perfection looked like back then when it was just starting up. We didn't know how to properly train guys or what ideal looked like back then. Um, so if you were to take just Babe Ruth in his prime back then and just drop him into the modern field, he would probably suck. But if you were to take Babe Ruth when he was developing and then give him a current training regimen and proper coaching for today's standards, um, he would probably be fine if not still a complete standout. You know what I mean? And I never thought about it that way before. Kind of like, damn. You know? What if, you know, what if Babe Ruth got, you know, dropped in when he was still learning? Pitching was way better in the early 1900s. I think that's really hard to figure out for sure because uh, like, black people were in a different league. You know, like, literally a different league. They wouldn't let them play in the white people league back then. Um, Babe Ruth also hit his come up because, like, part of the, like, Babe Ruth is obviously fucking really good at baseball. Like, there's no, there's no fighting that. Babe Ruth also hit his come up because, because Babe Ruth hit baseball around the same time they started changing balls. So back in the day, they wouldn't switch baseballs if they didn't have to. If you didn't hit a home run or a foul ball, they would grab that ball and they would use that ball again. And after a ball has been hit, you know, 5, 6, 10, 12, 15 times, uh, it gets soft. It, it gets the shit kicked out of it. And every time it gets hit, it gets a little bit of a dent in it. And it gets soft because it's just getting the shit smacked out of it. Uh, and soft balls don't fly as far. So if you got the first shot of the day, you had the best chance of hitting the home run. But at, like, or the first throw of that baseball. You had the best chance of hitting a home run. Hey, what up, Nene? Babe Ruth came up during the era where they started switching the baseball out after every time it was hit, more or less. So Babe Ruth came up during an era when you were most likely to hit a home run on any given bat, or just a good hit in general at any given at bat. Yeah, Nene, we brought up the concept that what if you dropped, like, old-time 
old timey really good players and then dropped them in a current setting and that's kind of that's kind of the rant I was going on. How you doing, Nene? Everyone swings for the fences now. Nobody was doing that early on. Them dudes were hitting spitballs and other wiffle ball pitches. I'd give them a fighting chance to go straight on gas based on eyesight, but no way they're hitting modern off speed. Yeah, well, even wasn't it like a deal like last year where pitchers were still getting caught like cutting the ball or fucking up the ball? Like they were going after that one dude for wiping his cap because he had some fucking grease or some shit on his, on his cap. He'd do that every time and then wipe it on the ball. Wasn't that a whole... Work for the Mets? Oh shit, I see you. But isn't that a thing that's like still been on and off that they've been doing that shit for years? Or am I on crack? I don't pay as much attention to baseball as I do as football, and I don't pay as much attention to football as I should, so. You wanna know where I'm sitting? Miles, thank you for the 19 months prime, appreciate you. Dan Marino in today's NFL? I think we just have players that are unarguably better than Dan Marino in today's NFL. Tom Brady, before he retired, even with the asterisk and the cheating and all that shit, unarguably better than Dan Marino. Patrick Mahomes, currently, unarguably better than Dan Marino. You know what I mean? Tar, that's what it was. He had tar on the ball cap. Yankees are idiots and still do it. A lot of people were on greenies too, which was essentially speed. <laughs> Sunscreen? Yeah, that's wild. You know what I'm glad is that baseball fans collectively still hate the Astros. I was absolutely team never going to be like always rooting against the Yankees because... Baseball needs a salary cap. I don't know why they don't do that. Maybe it's the only thing saving the sport because I know the sport struggled with money for some years or whatever. Baseball's needed a salary cap. And I say this as a Kansas City Royals fan, okay? Kansas City does not... Kansas City barely has the population to support a football team. We do not have the population to support an NBA team, okay? We barely have the population to support a baseball team. So when I tell you it's a real miracle that the Royals managed to win a World Series... It's a real miracle that the Royals, of all places, managed to win a World Series. Because it's a miracle that we ever had the money or ever signed the right rookies or the right off-season guys to even afford a team capable of making a run in the playoffs, let alone winning the World Series. That's why that's so wild. And then immediately the next year, Yankees bought out our, our top star pitcher, right? So I was like, we can't even make another run at that shit. You know what I mean? But baseball needs a salary cap so bad because I feel like, you know, the Yankees and I want to say the Mets, but the Mets are consistently not that great, if I recall correctly. But just these places that have a lot of money, Chicago, Boston, whatever, um, California, are always going to be the ones able to make runs. And the just the cities that don't make as much money can't because they just don't make as much money. It's so weird to me. But until a salary cap happens, I, I was team never Yankees ever. Like whoever's facing the Yankees, I'm rooting for them until the Astros came along, and now it's just fun to kick the shit out of the Astros. Players Association will never allow that. Is it just because they'd have to play the pay the players less? I started thinking about that the other day, and it's like... Some people... I saw some people talking about how they need to raise the salary cap again, because players are getting paid a lot. Even in the NFL, they need to raise the salary cap again. Because Patrick Mahomes is getting half a billion dollars for like a 10-year deal, right? Um, so how are the Chiefs supposed to sign anybody else if they're signing Patrick to that? And I'm like, you know what? They need to do a salary cap. But, well, then I get into politics. I was like, first of all, whoever the owner is making millions, if not billions, off this shit should be taxed way more, right? That That's my, that's my politic thinking, which is its own separate thing. But on top of that, there needs to be a salary cap. I don't think you should make half a billion dollars in 10 years. Not including sponsorships or anything else. Just for playing football. I don't care how many millions of people you're entertaining. I just don't think you should be able to make that much off football alone. You know Patty's, and it's just like I'm a Chiefs fan. Patty's the most played player, most paid player in the history of the NFL. That's my guy, right? But like, he's going to make so much fucking money off... He's going to make so much fucking money off sponsorships. You know what the, I have no idea what the fuck he's made off State Farm already, right? 
But he's he's set for life without e without even the NFL contract. He's set for life. He could retire right now and he'd live like a fine life. But this should be a cap. I don't think you should be allowed to play any player any player more than like you know two hundred fifty thousand a year, half a mil a year, right? In any sport, that's so much fucking money for a human being. And then this is where you kind of have to get politics into it because if you're like, okay, if you're only allowed to play the payers so pay the players so much then the owner's got to be making zillions more than he should. And it's like, okay, well, then tax the fuck out of that guy. Then just tax the shit out of the guy at the top. Make him, you know, pay his workers more or pay out a fuckload in taxes. But, like, people in sports... People in the army don't make that much. And they're getting shot. Like... Teachers don't make a tenth of that, right? And they got to deal with teenagers. Like, none of it makes sense. You're saying someone makes 500 mil for football? Patrick Mahomes is the most paid player in the history of the NFL. And on a what I think is a 10-year deal, if I remember right, uh, he is making $500 million. Like, over $500 million for a 10-year deal. It's like Gronk. He hasn't spent a single penny of his contract money, only invested it. What he uses is contract or sponsorship money. Yeah. Well, that's the thing is like when you're a top player anyway, you get so much money in sponsorship. LeBron James is like a triple. LeBron James? In his whole career? Uh, no, I saw this stat like last year. LeBron James from his NBA contracts alone, because football is more popular than basketball is. From his NBA contracts alone, LeBron James has only made a little bit more from his NBA contracts in his whole career than Patrick Mahomes will make by the time his 500 million contract is up. So Patty off one contract in football made basically as much as LeBron made in his whole career off of his NBA contracts. That aside, LeBron has made so much from his shoe line and from sponsorships that he still has more money than God. You know, he's still like way the fuck up there. It just doesn't make sense. Love him to death. Love the Chiefs. They're playing a game. And he's going to make the money off sponsorships anyways. Which I'm also for because it's yoinking money from companies. So, you know, fuck them. Do either of them have a daughter? I believe Patrick Mahomes has a child and they're an infant. So, don't go there. I actually don't keep up with LeBron well enough to know, like... His personal life. I only know Patrick's because he's a fucking Kansas City local. Random fact that seems wrong but isn't Andrew Garfield is older than LeBron James? Wait, what? He was Andrew Garfield was just in a movie for Netflix where he's playing a guy who's 29 years old. That's like the plot line is he's a guy who's 29 years old and wants to do something big before he turns 30. He looks young. Garfield's 38. No shit. Mahomes has so much money. I wish he'd pay off his brother to disappear off the face of this planet. Yo. Okay. Now, I'm not one. Chat. I'm not one for misogyny. All right. Maybe this. I don't even think this is misogyny. So, I'll say it. Fuck it. I told this to Hom in a call. If I'm Patrick Mahomes, my condition with staying with my wife is that you are not allowed to be on social media or Twitter or any of that shit. Because when she, when she, Aisha curries it and she goes on there just to be annoying, it's like, shut the fuck up. This is my, th I'm footballing. You know what I mean? You know how little we ever heard out of Giselle? That's how, like, you know, she shows up, she's there, we see she's supporting, but like, shut up, man. Same thing with Jackson. Like, I, I was telling Han this too. So Kansas City fans, for the most part, Unless it makes national ESPN headlines, we don't hear when Jackson Mahomes does some dumb shit. We don't hear when Patty's wife does some dumb shit, right? Because Kansas City fans, like, if anybody does hear it, they're like, oh, fuck, that's dumb. And then they keep it moving. They're like, I, I care about Patrick. I care about football. Why the fuck would I care about what they're doing? And they keep it moving. But fans of a bunch of other teams who are super pissed that Patrick Mahomes has been stomping their team in again this season, 
who are looking for a reason to be mad at him, like, oh my god, do you see what his brother did? And it's like, why the fuck would I care what his brother did? And it's like, no, but his brother's super annoying. And it's like, why is that relevant to me or football or Patrick? And it's like, yeah, but did you see his brother? And it's like, okay, I guess. But people around the rest of the NFL who are sick and tired of Patrick Mahomes beating their teams, like, spread that shit like wildfire. And then they meet up with a bunch of Kansas City Chiefs fans, and they're like, yeah, you heard what happened with the thing, and we're like, no. We didn't. What does that have to do with football? And it's like, well, they did that. It was so gross and disgusting. It's like, okay. What the fuck do you want? I'm sorry, but celebrities' personal lives don't fucking matter. It's not like they're going to be the fans' friends, you know? Yeah, well, there was one case where, like, I, and I only know this because Hom told me, because Hom's a Philly fan. Uh, Jackson Mahomes, like, threw popcorn or something at a Philly fan. Like, he threw popcorn at Philly fans. And it's like... And then people come to me, and they tell me, like, oh, my, can you believe he threw popcorn at Philly fans? He almost got in a fight, and it's like... Then arrest him or some shit. Did he break the law? Put him in jail. I don't give a fuck. I care about Patty. I care about Patty. I care about what happened. You know what I mean? I care about what was happening on the field. Like, I don't, I don't fucking care. The only thing I really give a shit, like, I don't even fucking, I use give a shit very loosely. The only thing I fucking, is when, when Tom Brady makes out with his own son. That's fucking weird, right? That one, I could be like, okay, that shit's fucking, I don't care what's happening on or off the field. That's fucking goofy, right? But everything else is like, fucking and? What do you want from me? I don't know. Boss kid, you gotta know, Tom Brady just religiously, oh my god, and he's retired now. Oh my god, his poor fucking son. Oh no, there's nothing to keep Tom occupied anymore. There's no games, there's no training, there's no regular steroid shots, there's no, my fucking HGH, I'm getting older medicine, there's no sessions, there's no therapy, there's... It's just him and the tongue, dude. Oh my god, when summer vacation rolls around, this poor fucking kid, oh, I try to get into camp. I try to go to some kind of summer camp that takes me away for the summer. Oh my god, get- No, he he's not safe anymore. He wasn't safe before, but like, the condom's off. Not like, literally, but you know what I mean? There's no protection there. There's no buffer. Holy shit, I hadn't even thought about that. Do we not like Tom or something? Are you talking about the guy who makes out with his own son? Just so we're clear. That poor fucking kid is getting, getting Frenched. Consistently. Oh, man. Oh, that's rough. That's rough, buddy. I say that's rough, buddy, when I look like I just got done fighting with a blender, but... Why is this public knowledge? There's videos of it on YouTube. No, the video they got me, because it's like, first people are like, oh my god, Tom Brady makes out with his son. Tom Brady kisses his son. It's like,